Now, if you want to create a many to one relationship, just go to many to one relationship area, click on create new many to one relationship. So, here yeah, related is already linked, which is account and primary, just have to select, then you save it. That is, and comes to many to many relationship. Here, things are a bit different. Many to many relationship, you don't use that much. That means one record can be linked with many, many records and that many record can be linked with any other number. I can talk about some many to many relations like product and price list. So I can have multiple price list like India price list, China price list, US price list, etc. And then one product, for example, a Toshiba laptop, it can be part of all this price list. Of course, the same product can be sold in different geographies or different market. And now when I come to this price list, it can include multiple product, right? One price you can include multiple product like Toshiba laptop, Lenovo laptop, desktop, and etc. Multiple product I can have. And for each of this product, it can be part of multiple price list. So that kind of a relationship is known as many to many relationship. So product and price list is one example. Another one would be account and marketing list. Contact and marketing list. All these are many to many relationship. All the access in the system. Now, when you're creating a many to many relationship here, you need to understand that here on both sides, you get navigation pane item. That means there is no lookup concept because lookup is needed only when you are selecting a single record from a particular other record to link. So foreign key. So here we don't have this foreign key concept. So here we have the current entities as account, sorry, related entity as product. So it is a many to many relationship. Now in both sides, I get the navigation pane item. That means here I get an option. Should I display it or not? So in reality, most of the time, the many to many relations will not be displayed or at least both of them will not be displayed because we are unnecessarily utilizing that space. Yeah, so here you have it. If I want to, I can just simply display it for sure. This is it. So now here under relationship definition, you just have to define two things. One is a name to this relationship, which is fine. Other one is relationship entity name. So when you're creating a many to many relationship, a new table will be created. A table will be created for that. So here we don't have foreign key, right? Foreign key, we don't have it. So in order to maintain that, that means one account record should be present in multiple product and one product should be present in multiple accounts. So the system will create a third table. Of course, when you're creating a table, an entity also will be created, right? With this name, that name I can just mention. And now that table will be manage the relationship between these two. That means the foreign key for these two records will be present in that third table. The third table will have one row for, uh, for example, account ID, product ID, and then an ID also. ID of that row from product ID and account ID. So that the, both the foreign keys will be present in that, right? So one account can have any number of product associated with that. One product can have any number of accounts. So any combination of it is possible. So that is known as a many to many relationship. So if you want to create a many to many relationship, come to many to many relationship of the particular entity where you want to create it from. Just click on many to many relationship. Just set the current entity, which is your person entity. Want to display it or not? If you want to display it, just mention that. Other entity, what entity you should mention? Now you have to be careful. So in the current entity, we get the navigation link item. So this is will be displayed here, right? Because in the account navigation pane item, article list will appear. From the article navigation pane, I will have the account list, right? So that name has to be given correctly. Otherwise, account side, I'll get account list. And article side, I'll again get article list, which doesn't make any sense. So here I just need to mention a name to the relationship, a name to the entity, and finally just save and close. So that will create a relationship between account and articles. All right, so I'll come to my account record. Refresh it. Okay, be with me in setting the names. It is changed to plural name. I was just mentioning the details here, but somehow it is set to plural name. I just, I basically set account list here and article list here. 
but it is said to use plural name. That means plural name of invoice. Invoice that is invoices will be there for account. For invoice, it will be accounts list. So it is already here under sales under details here. Right for accounts, it will be under sales. So that is already I have seen. For invoice, it will be accounts. You can see under sales, right? And then I'll be able to link account records here. So you can link any account. There is no limit at all. And if I go to an account record, from there I'll be able to select the invoices. Not this. No, it is not invoices, right? Did I select invoices? What did I select? I forgot that. Nope. Knowledge base article. My <laughs> oh God. I selected between account and knowledge base article, right? Under details, what is it? Under details, that is here. I have articles. This is the one. It will be empty because we didn't utilize this relationship yet. So here I can link any number of articles. And if I just go to a knowledge base article, which is basically comes from service area, you can select any knowledge base article. Here I can see accounts. So this form is different. This is the legacy form type. You will not get this UI or the, what do you say, the UI that you used before that. So here I can just link account records. So here I just need to add, to add and then you just need to add them. Anyway, still you can add it. Add existing account. Get the option here to add it. So I just made a main to main relationship between accounts and knowledge base articles. And before that, I have created a one to many relationship between accounts and invoices. Let me just show you this. So here I am. I'm just trying to delete this one, this many to many relationship, which is as long as I haven't created any records using this relationship, you can delete it. This one, let me try to delete this. You show me an error because one or more comments required. That means I have created some records based on this, right? So if I delete those records, then I can do it. That means I just go to account record where I have invoices associated with that. When I remove them, I don't know which account it was. And I just go to that record. I'll have some invoices associated with that. Don't need to delete these invoices for that, but I can simply remove this link. Here it is. If I simply remove it, save the record. So I just have to remove these invoices. Then I just go back to that account record. I will not have any. You can customize it also. If, if I don't want to display that in the UI, I can simply customize it. That is one way of doing it. I just say do not display it and save it. That will not display it at all. It will have records created, but it will not display. Because there is only a relationship exit between account and invoices. So if you feel like it will make confusion, either you have to give a very proper, proper name for that, just make to differentiate it or simply delete it when you don't need it at all. Okay, still there are differences, so I just need to remove that. After that, I can delete it, but you know how to delete it. So that's it. So we just talk about relationship today, entity relationship. So two entities can have relationship in Dynamics the 5. There are three types of relationship, one to many, many to one, and many to many. All right. So when you're trying to create a one to many relationship, on the other side, you'll also get a many to one relationship. And when you try to create a one to many or a many to one relationship, you basically have to set two things. One is a navigation pane item for the primary entity. And then you just have to set a lookup field for the related entity, which is nothing but 
a foreign key. This lookup field will be created. You have to just add that on the form and then you have to make use of it. So that primary entity, we get the navigation where you can just access a subgrid where you can add the records. And on the related entity, we'll get the lookup field, which is nothing but the foreign key where you can just link the related record with the primary record. Same goes for many to one relationship also. Only thing that the direction changes. And when it's come to many to many relationship, we'll have the current entity and the other entity. In both places, we get the navigation. You can select the subgrid where you can link the record. There is no restriction. Any number of records in any combination, you can just select from this relationship. And when you're creating a relationship, we have the option to just display the navigation or not. You can just, I mean, select to display that or you can just not display them. 